What if I told you that American-made vehicles are so yesterday? It will not be long before some of the cars on the road in this country bear a new label, made in China. An ambitious plan to import hundreds of thousands of cars from China. Joining us is the man that brought the Subaru and the Yugo to the U.S., Mr. Brooklyn. Nice to have you with us. Oh, thank you, Maria. Welcome. Tell me about your plans. I really set out to find perfect, but I did not know that perfect existed. We started at the low end of what factories are in the world, Serbia. And each time we went to the next step, it was a better step. Romania was way above Serbia, and Poland was way above Romania. And MG Rover was not way above in the factory, but it product-wise way above. And India was way above in being uh, aggressive and having new products and having the right prices. But China is in a different, different universe. I went to Wuhu and I met a man by the name of Mr. Yin. And Mr. Yin's dream was to be the number one car company in the world. And here he was sitting in Wuhu telling me what he was going to do and how he was going to do it. Just like Cherry said to me, I'm going to be their partner. I'm going to do something different in the car business. I'm going to trust my dealers. That means I'm going to give them a territory, not a location. And by doing that and keeping territories big enough, my dealers will not fight with themselves. And by having the factory and the importer and the dealer all on the same page, what we end up having is the three people working for one person, which is the customer that buys the car. Very few people can do this. You need someone who has his, not only his energy and his imagination and his creativity and his vision, but his experience. Yeah, seems like all of his life experience. His whole life seems to, to come together yeah. in this project. Yeah. What is the reason why you're trying to sell Chinese cars over here? The same reason when I brought Subaru. Uh -huh. Subaru, Subaru into the country. I brought that in in 1967 because I thought Japanese cars would be would have a big market in the United States. Now in the new century, I believe Chinese cars will have a big market in the United States. So what I did is find a factory that is existing, that knows what they're doing, that has state-of-the-art equipment and has all the money they need to do the job I'm talking about. The bets are, are we going to bring in a car from China? The bets are, is Visionary Vehicles going to bring in those cars from China? And is Malcolm Brooklyn going to be involved? Well, I leave you with the following. You can bank on it.